Ready for some high speed sync on location portraits? Let's get to it. What's up everyone, my name is Sal Sincata. Today I'm here with the always gorgeous Marilyn Fan. Give me your details. We won't screw it up this time. I won't screw it up this time. <laughs> hey, I'm Marilyn. My Instagram is Marilyn.Fan. And she is always in boss mode. Anyway, we've got a ton of videos we've done with her. Check those out. I'll throw some links up and you can see those. Uh, we did a rooftop shoot. You got on the boots, the all black. You're in dominatrix mode for that one. All right, I digress. There's a softer side of Marilyn now. Yeah, it's so sweet. Let's get to it. So if you want to use off-camera flash, outdoor on locations, of course, anything over two hundredth of a second is going to kick your camera and flash into high speed sync. So what does that mean? Basically, it's getting the camera and flash to work together at anything that's above that two hundredth of a second. So let me just explain it. Don't tune out on me. I'm going to break it down in a really simple way. Think about we're on a highway and the light is moving down that highway at two hundredth of a second. OK, and that's the speed lights getting there. The shutter on your camera opens and closes at two hundredth of a second. So when you click the shutter, the button and release the shutter opens up at two hundred miles an hour. The lights coming in hits the sensor, makes an exposure, and the rest is just all magic working for you. Well, on a bright day like this, and we want to photograph at F1.2, your shutter speed is going to kick up to a thousandth of a second, two thousandth of a second, and that light's only coming at 200 miles an hour. Shutter goes up at 1600th of a second, two thousandth of a second. Light never makes its way there. And so this is the only analogy I can give you, hopefully that helps, of getting the two to talk together. So what ends up happening is through technology, your camera and your flash are working together in high speed sync. So now they both know that we have to be faster than 200th of a second and the strobe starts firing mini bursts to get there faster to stay in sync with your camera shutter. So hopefully that's making sense. Now you might be asking, why do you want to photograph at one, two? Well, for me, I love that milky look outdoors. We've got all this kind of junk around Maryland, right? But it's turban junk. It's beautiful. And so what is it? What is the saying? One man's junk and there's another man's treasure. Well, this is my treasure right now, all these weeds. So this is going to give us kind of eye candy in the foreground, eye candy in the background, but I don't want to focus on it. I want Marilyn popping off that background. So I'm going to photograph this at 1.2. I'm going to set my ISO at 100. The more ISO I have, the more sensitive my camera is to light, means my flash has to work that much harder. So I don't want my flash to have to work that hard. So I'm going to ISO 100 or even ISO low, and that's giving me an extra stop of power. But we're going to operate at 100 right now. So we're going to set that up. I'm going to have to put my trigger. And so I'm using the Westcott. We have the FJ400 here today, and I'm using the FJ X3M trigger. And on here, I don't know if you can see this, if you want to come in here, I'm going to set up sync, and that is going to go to just that high with the lightning bolt. Okay, so we're going to cycle through till we get that to H. Almost all your camera flash systems, all of them get into high speed sync a little bit differently. So just kind of check your manufacturer's manual for that. And what I'm going to do is I'm shooting at F 1.2 ISO 100. And I don't care what the shutter speed is because the camera and the flash are going to make that adjustment. So all I really have to do with this moment is get the flash power dialed in. I'm also on camera underexposing by one stop. Okay, so I'm shooting an aperture priority and I'm underexposing by one stop. I know I'm doing a lot of talking. I promise you it's going to be worth it. All right, so let's put the light right here. So Marilyn, this light's coming in this direction at you. So as long as you're working here, say we get we get enough on you. All right, so with the power at five, I'm just going to take a test shot on Marilyn, make sure I like what I'm seeing. Okay. And so that first shot is pretty good. She's a little underexposed for me. So I'm going to move the power up one stop. So I'm going to move it to six and I can change that from the trigger. Okay, here we go. Another test shot. And there we go. Now I'm getting some really cool light. I'm going to fan it away. Tap one more test. Now I like what I'm seeing here. And so as I'm looking in camera, you're going to see a lot of kind of shallow depth of field. And look, we're in an urban environment, right? So it's already looking a little shaggy to say the least. And I'm okay with the, that stuff but I don't want it to be in focus. I need it to be out of focus. And by underexposing and creating those dark and moody portraits that we're known for, this is how I do it. This is the way I work, no matter what the conditions are. You can do this for sports photography, family shoots. You know, you may not shoot as shallow, but you get the gist. This is the way you can do it. So I'm gonna get to work on Maryland and create some images. Let me know in the comments which ones are your favorite. And don't be intimidated by this. Just get out and try it. All right, you ready, Marilyn? So because I know I'm at a shallow depth of field, I can now move stuff like this in front of the lens and just give me a little bit of eye candy there. Beautiful. Love that, Marilyn. Yeah, and this is blurring out some of the foregrounds, just making it a little bit more interesting. And I love messing around with this kind of stuff. Again, it's just about, at this point, once you get dialed in, it's just about having some fun. Watch your composition. Love this. Let's see what this looks like, Marilyn. There we go. Twist that away a little more, Alicia. Let's go through that whole cycle again, Marilyn. Perfect. 
Watch that hair in your lip. Love this, Marilyn. Good. Looking away. Love that. Love that. Love those angles, Marilyn. Beautiful. All right, so one of the things I'm doing is pulling Marilyn away from the wall, and the reason for that is to get more of that depth of field and light fall off. So the first time I had her closer to the wall, you're seeing a little bit of light on that wall. That's kind of a look right now, a vibe, an aesthetic, whatever the correct adjective is at the moment. My wife's shaking her head. Don't shake your head at me, man. Marilyn, am I right? That's what the kids are saying. It's the aesthetic, okay? So it's an aesthetic. Oh my God. Anyway, so that look is kind of in right now, right? Where it looks very flashy. So now what I'm doing is by pulling her off the wall, I'm gonna allow that wall to go darker, create more light fall off, if you will. So I've just moved her off that wall and to make her now pop. So let's get to it. I'll shoot some mid-level portraits of her. So I'm right up at your waist here. Here we go, test shot. Perfect, love this, Marilyn. Do your thing, go for it. Love this. Ooh, I love that, love the angles. Can we do something where you're grabbing that collar? I like that, here we go. Like that, like that. Can we pop that collar? Guys, we have a pop collar aesthetic right now, okay? That's what we have, it's the thing. Okay. I'm going for it, I'm gonna do it. All right, here we go. Oh, I like the fierce look, love that. Let Marilyn work, she's trying to, she's trying to work and be serious, man. All right, here we go. Going full body, Marilyn. Beautiful, beautiful, like that, Marilyn. I love everything in this direction, looks really good, working with that light. Beautiful, yes, right there, love that on you, Marilyn. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, this looks killer, Marilyn. Oh, I love that, oh, I liked it. Yeah, it's wor it's working, it plays. Love that, love that. Right in me, right there, Marilyn. Beautiful. Hang tight, right there. Test. All right, here we go. One, two, killer, Marilyn. Beautiful. Yeah, do your thing in there. I love that on you, Marilyn. Stand by. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, I'm rocking to keep you in those buildings, but I like your movement. Gorgeous, Marilyn. Yes, right there, I love this. Let me get this. Beautiful, Marilyn. All right, guys, that's it. High-speed sync, on location for your portraits. Dark, dramatic, moody, add your flavor, add season to taste, I always like to say, but we got some killer images of Marilyn off of this. And again, I'm using an FJ400. The light is barely working. We're not making it work hard as it would need to. We're at half power. We are getting all these killer dynamic portraits. So don't knock it till you try it. Get out there, give it a try. Let me know in the comments which one you like, and we'll see you in the next video.